What the freak? I am today going to test drive a car for a buddy of mine. Something's cropped up on Gumtree that he's rather interested in. It's rather British. It's something that is sort of like a um, unattainable car for most people. So he's asked me if I would like to go and test drive it and I said, hell yeah. But based on the car, I can't go looking like this. So I'm gonna quickly go and scrub up and then I'll catch up with you. So what do you reckon folks? Better than the old daggy gear I wear for the channel. My uh, nice go to town threads on, got the go to town pants and shirt. Dust the old jacket off out of the cupboard because I need to look the part, uh, even though I'm not buying the car. I still want to look and feel the part because I'm going to test drive an iconic British car, an Aston Martin. A 2002 DB7 Vantage, I believe, V12. It's a JDM import, so it's come via a local dealer, I'd say, who's imported it from Japan. Because he lives far, far and away, uh, it's a good excuse for me to pull the camera out and film what I'm doing so that I can tell the dealer that this is sort of current evidence for my mate. So that should help me get some footage, hopefully we put a bit of a video together for you lot. I've got to check things like service history, general paint condition, interior, wear and tear, I guess, any noises when I take it for a <laughs> test run, which will be a little bit disappointing on a wet day, but I've got no other time to do this, so I'm gonna rock on out now and get me some British horsepower. The name is Bond, James Bond, money Bennett. All right, Google gave me a bum steer and sent me to a completely different car yard. I went on a hunch because I, I know that this existing car yard does JDM imports and the number's written on the building. That's the number that was in the ad. But Google tried to send me somewhere else. Anyway, I'm gonna go in there, see if I can find the guy, I think his name's Derek, and see if we can get this rolling. Sylvia, S15 is it? 65,000. What the freak? Holy moly. There's a Celica GT4 down there as well. Anyway, I'm gonna go and find this dude. Just leave everything open and everything, and then I can start her up and stuff like that. That there is not a good start. And just in this first five minutes, if you listen really carefully, you can hear a constant popping and banging from the exhaust pipe and the engine itself, and a slight vibration or a wobble. And it sounded like lots of little backfires. I would have thought a V12 Aston Martin engine would have been silky smooth. You better warm up and idle for a bit, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. wheels but it is missing it's not idling too well it's got a misfire by the sounds of it I might um, open that up hey a bit of smoke out of here Look, James Bond. Mm. Switching to the phone footage now, the interior looks rather decent. The pops are still very prevalent. This is going to be the tip of the iceberg. Oh, yeah. Upon getting out and trying to shut the door, it wouldn't close properly. And the Aston Martin 4.9 litre V12, I think it's sounds very tappity. Can't even see under there. Typical. Headlights have a bit of fog in them. 
I mean, the tyres and wheels and all of that are going to be good. What is that underneath? Can't see shit underneath. All right, the car started with a lot of smoke. Idling better now to warm up. Yeah, a little bit of a miss on the engine, if you can hear me. Immaculate condition on the outside. Interior is good, all of that's good, but I, I can't drive it because it's too wet and he's got to shift two, four, six cars or so out into the weather and he doesn't want to do that. So we are just dealing with it in the shed today and then I'll probably have to come back and have another look. All right, export certificate here. If I can read Japanese, I'll be able to work it out. Books. And there's maintenance. 78. We've got one, three months. 1,414, then we've got six months, 6,000. 12 months, nine. 14 at 18 months. Two years is 17. Two and a half years is 19. Uh, three years, 22. Three and a half, 26. Four, 29. 535. Okay, so the last service was 35,000. It's warm now and it doesn't, it still has a little pop in the exhaust. Let's have a little bit of a not too bad when you get the idle up. It might just need a good drive too. I'm going to put this at the back and uh, we'll see. Leaky radiator, right there. So, steam coming out of the radiator. See here, it's actually starting to leak everywhere. Whoop. We've got a leak, look at that, guys and girls. This is, holy shit. this? Right, I'm going to turn that off. Let's see how it restarts. It starts alright. Has that been replaced? Alright, let's, let's see. Is there a handbrake? Oh shit. There's a handbrake. Jesus. Oh, look at that for a, a, a luxurious sports car. That's your handbrake. It's like the old Holdens. Alright, see if we've got any. work um, hard to believe it's only done 39,000 kilometers I think it's got problems I reckon there's a coil problem or something and we've got a busted radiator so I don't know if we're gonna test drive it even if I come back
I'll give all the stuff back to Derek, I think. Some nice cars here. Mmm. Cayman S. Damn. You've got a um, FD. Yeah. I know, well, I. Anyway. Well, it was rain yesterday, too, that's why I didn't come. You know, your radiator's leaking. Yeah, no, I didn't overheat. I'll get the radiator broken off. So yeah. I'm a payologist. A payologist. <laughs> I gave Derek my details and arranged for a time in the following week. Back in the car, I put together a summary of everything and some footage that I sent off to my mate on Messenger. I gave him my thoughts and opinions as well. Did you get all that? All right, I'm going home. Hopefully, round two will be back next week. Nissan. 350, 370, Evo, Evo, WRX, S-Class. He's got it all, man. He's got it all. Shame we didn't get to drive the Aston out on the road, but probably lucky with that busted radiator. That could have been a bigger headache. The car in general looks sharp, but there are some underlying problems which you've seen and heard. The interior has a couple little wear marks and in odd positions. And the logbook, well, you be the judge. Have a look at the penmanship and the quality of the ink. And apparently that pen was the same pen for five years, the first five years of its life. Now, I'm not saying that it's dodgy, but it just puts questions and doubt in my mind, particularly when I'm paying 80 grand. You be the judge. Comment down below and we'll catch you next time. Find a bite, fix it, flip it, have some fun along the way. Remember Rushy, ciao for now.